So as a young, fresh, enthusiastic teacher, what steps can you take to m make your way up the career ladder within the, within the teaching profession? First one is career development. Have you identified the small opportunities within your organisation in which you can demonstrate the skills which you are required at a, a much more senior level? How have you measured the impact? How can you demonstrate to others that you are someone who can be trusted with uh, the development of much larger projects within the school? How about within the classroom? What are your assessment like? How have you measured your impact on young people's lives? Can you stand there with data which demonstrates the impact that you have made? How can you measure that you have made a serious impact on young people's lives? What assessments have you got in place which you can measure in a smart way? What assessment have you got in place which you can put on a sheet of paper in front of potential employers moving forward that says, this is what I have done and this is how I measured it? Can you validate that particular piece of work? Of course, to move forward in a school, you must have strong subject knowledge. You cannot get away, you cannot get away with just blagging your way through school and hoping that it's going to be all sort itself out. It's not. Within the school, you need to make sure that you are a master of your own subject area. Now, that involves some very serious hard work on your part to make sure that you've understood schemes of work, you've understood examiner's reports, you've understood every aspect of what the student, whether they're in reception or whether they're in year 13, what is it they are expected to be able to do by the time they have finished their time with you? And again, how have you measured that? You cannot get away, you cannot move forward in teaching unless you have a very firm grasp of what you are essentially paid to do, which is deliver the best outcomes uh, for students. But how else can I develop? Now, I personally, I, I'm a big social media fan and I, I use various different sites um, in order to further my development. I'm, I'm a big Twitter fan and there's a number of different Twitter handles which will really, really help your development moving forward. I know that I'm personally looking at senior management roles. So I'm constantly on a, on a Sunday night looking at hashtag SLT chat as a basis for really developing some ideas and ones which I can take back into my practice. Now, of course, each of you have got different ambitions and you're at different stages of your career. So my advice to you would be, have a look at Twitter, have a look at Instagram, go onto LinkedIn, find like-minded individuals as to where you are and where you see yourself going and use that to um, develop your career. And it all comes down to research. And again, in terms of every aspect of your career, whether or not you are applying for different roles or whether or not you're looking to move within your organisation, have you researched what it is you are looking for? Have you researched the types of position and the types of demands and also the types of sacrifices which you may need to make within that role in order for it to be successful. A successful career path is totally based on collaboration. You cannot do this on your own. You cannot do this as an individual within an institution. You need to work with interested individuals and try to bring individuals into your line of thinking. Now, particularly in my role as a head of sixth form, I work across the school. I work all the way from the, from the admin staff, all the way through the various different subject teachers, to the heads of department, to the heads of faculty, to the senior leadership team, to the lady in reprographics who produces my photocopying. All of these stakeholders are very, very important to me being able to successfully carry out my role 
and be able to put my resume in front of uh, potential employers and say, this is what I achieved.